Welcome to our tutorial on texting for message senders. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send text messages using ThruText. From accessing your assignment to navigating the messenger, this video will tell you all you need to know to send and reply to messages. Let's get texting. When a ThruText admin launches a campaign, an assignment email will go out to senders who are associated with the campaign. The email will indicate whether you have initial messages to send or if they've already been sent and your job will be to handle replies. Admins can also launch a campaign without any senders. This is often done so that senders can self-assign conversations. If you receive an invite link to the campaign instead of a get through notifications email, your assignment may be using self-assign. First, we'll talk about the automated emails from ThruText about new assignments. The notification email may be a new assignment or a new bulk send replies email, depending on the sending type that your organization utilizes. If you receive an email about a new assignment, then your text conversations have yet to be started and you will start your assignment by sending initial messages. If you receive an email about bulk send replies, then the initial messages have been sent and you may have replies waiting to be processed. If your organization has assigned you a follow-up campaign, you may receive an assignment email titled New Follow-up. Now to get started, click on the link in the new assignment email, which will take you to the texting interface. Once you get logged in and access the link, you'll see initial messages to be sent or replies from contacts. Let's click the back arrow to view the main assignment page. For new assignment emails, you'll see how many messages remain to be sent and the send by date, which is your deadline for sending the initial messages. For bulk send assignment emails, you'll see a link to the messenger and the number of replies awaiting a response that are available for you to begin responding to. We'll click on the Bartlett Rally Interest Assignment. Once you click into your assignment, there are three main sections to the ThruText interface. On the left side, you'll have a list of contacts you'll be texting. In the middle is where your conversations are going to take place, including the message creation window, where you can type what you're going to send to your contacts. Over on the right side, you'll see information about your texting assignment. This is where your ThruText admins will provide you information about this campaign. This panel also contains the tools you'll use to respond and collect data after all of the initial messages are sent. Earlier we mentioned that you may not get an email from ThruText to start your assignment. You may instead receive an invite link directly from your admin to join a campaign. In these campaigns, you may have to assign yourself conversations. When you open your assignment, you'll see a button that says Request Conversations. Clicking this button will assign you a batch of conversations. After you send your messages, you can click Request Conversations again to request another batch if there are more available. The batch size can be adjusted by your admin, so you can ask them to adjust it if you feel you've received too many conversations. Next, we'll talk about sending your messages. You'll see in this example, the texting admins have loaded the initial message for the assignment. As you can see, it's going to be identical for each contact you're texting, and it's going to fill in their name each time. For this assignment, the message says, Hi contact, this is Bilal with the Bartlett campaign. We are having a big rally on Saturday. Can you make it? Stop to opt out. I'm going to go ahead and send all of these initial messages. There are a few different ways to send messages and what's available for your assignment depends on your organization, messaging laws and regulations, and how your admin has set up your assignment. To send messages, simply click the send button on each message or click send all to send all the initial messages at once. The recipient will receive the message just like any other text message on their phone. For more information on message sending methods, please check out our sending types for message senders guide. When you're done sending your initial messages, it will say inbox cleared. Good job, you've cleared your assignment. Now you'll be notified via email if you receive any new replies. Some responses will come right away. Some will come over the next few hours, and sometimes a recipient won't respond for a few days. Here we have our first responses. You have the ability to sort them by needs reply, recent, or alphabetically. You can see on the right side that there are tabs for surveys and replies in addition to the info tab.
The Surveys tab houses our survey questions, which is where you record data on your contacts. Next to it, we have the Replies tab. There are two types of replies. Recommended replies, which are written by your admins, and My Replies, which are written by you. There are two types of recommended replies. There are campaign-specific recommended replies, which are just for one campaign, and there are also global recommended replies, which are used for all through text campaigns in the organization's account. The global recommended replies will include this globe icon. On the left side, you can see that there is a green dot next to your contact's names. The green dot indicates that the recipient was the last person to send a message in the conversation, which usually means you should respond by answering any questions they have or by wrapping up the conversation. For example, Lindsay said that she's interested but would like more details. We'll record her as a maybe, and then we'll move over to the replies tab. We see that we don't have one named maybe, but we have one that says will attend. Once we click on the down arrow, we can see that this reply contains information on the event. This will attend reply seems like it will work, but it needs a little bit of tweaking. To use this recommended reply, just click the plus sign next to the message title. Once we add it to the message creation window, we can customize it to say, will we see you there, rather than see you there. Let's go ahead and send that. Next up, Heather said, sure, what time? So first we're going to record her response as a yes in the surveys tab and jump over to the replies tab and select the will attend option. Next, we'll click the plus sign next to the message title to add the reply content into the message creation area. Make sure it looks good and then click send. As you can see, the green dot has disappeared from Heather's name. I'm also going to change the sorting status from needs reply to recent. Now we can look at the reply from Abby. Abby says, I can't make it. Is there anything else I can do to help? So I'll collect her response in the surveys tab as a no, and I'll also check her off as a yes on future events because she seems interested. I can then go over to my replies tab and see that I have two different no responses. Based on Abby's question, the can't attend but interested reply seems like it would be the best fit. When we expand the full message, we see that it says we'll make sure she's on the list for future events, and that works great. In Janine's response, we can see that she says we have the wrong number and requests to be removed from our lists, which happens from time to time, especially when you're reaching out to a large number of contacts. The way to handle those is using the opt out button in the top right. When you click opt out, you'll see a pop up to confirm the opt out request, which will send the organization's opt out message. Opting out means this contact isn't going to receive any more messages from this organization's account. You can see that Janine's name is now removed from my contact list. Now we can see that Lindsay has written back answering our question. She says, great, I'm in, can I bring a friend? First, we'll update her new response in the Surveys tab from a maybe to a yes. Then we'll check our replies to see if we have one that fits the situation. I don't see one, so I can choose to either write a one-time response in the message creation window, or alternatively, if I think I'll get this question often, I can write my own saved reply. To write my own saved reply, I can go to My Replies and click the plus button. I can then select if I want my reply to be for this campaign only, or a global reply across all the campaigns where I have assignments by checking one of these options. In this case, the question is about bringing a friend to the event, so I'm going to make it a campaign-only saved reply, and then I'm going to give it a title. Let's call it Bring a Friend, and in the body section here, I'm going to say, of course, the more the merrier. Now I'll click Save. That's my saved reply, and I can see it here in my replies dropdown, where I'll click this plus sign to add it to my message creation window and click send to send that off to Lindsay. Now let's check back in on Heather's conversation again. She said she's coming to our event. I've replied with the event details and I've recorded all the data. Now I want to keep my queue clean and make sure I'm only viewing active conversations. 
I'm going to use the hide button to remove this inactive conversation from my queue. Don't worry though, if Heather replies, the conversation will reappear back in my queue with all our text history. But for right now, it lets me focus only on active conversations. Let's talk for a moment about the device you'll use to access your through text assignments. In this tutorial, we used a computer, but you can use a phone or tablet to complete your assignments as well. Through text can be used on any iOS or Android phone or tablet device, and you can use your device's web browser. There's no need to download an app. As far as browsers, through text works best on Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. Those are the basics of sending messages in through text. If you have any questions, please check out our help center or reach out to us at support.